welcome is the end of another year another new year resolution maybe question is what happened to the resolutions you made for this year or the ones you've been making why haven't you achieved them and for the ones you achieved did you achieve them fully so do you really need a new year resolution welcome to blooming time with a zest today we're going to be having a conversation piece on what you really need to focus on as the year ends and a new one begins i'll be right back and we'll get right to the world please do not forget to like this video comment on it and please share on your social media platforms so we can reach uh, the first goal or target which is a thousand subscribers sit back and i'll be right back thank you Welcome back to Blooming Time with Zest. We are going to start by saying a quick word of prayer. Father Lord, we give you thanks. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. We say thank you, Lord, for life. Thank you for the breath in our nostrils. We say thank you, O oh Lord, for bringing us here today. Holy Spirit, we ask you, teach us. Teach us your word, teach us your ways, and help us to walk in these ways in the mighty name of Jesus. At the end, I say, take all the glory, take all the honor, take all the adoration. In Jesus' victorious name, we have prayed. You know, every year, at the end of the year, every one of us has a new year resolution. We are set, we are resolute that this coming year, I'm going to do things differently. And this thing can go from, I'm going to spend more time with my family, I'm going to do my job differently, I'm going to do my business differently, or I'm even going to walk closer with God. And so we are very determined. And then January 1st comes, second, third, and before you know it, it's back to business as usual. So my question to you today is, do you really need another new year resolution? If you do or you don't what do you really need to make sure for 2021 that you're going to be a goal getter welcome today I'm going to be talking about another new year what you really need generally uh, at the end of the year is a time we reflect on what has gone uh, by over the year we look at what we have achieved what we plan to achieve and part of this self-reflection helps us to plan towards what we're going to get next. Today, I'm going to be using the approach of the nursing process uh, to look at what you really need. So in nursing, when you have a problem at hand, we start with assessment. We assess the situation. Say a patient has high temperature. So we say there is high temperature. Based on this assessment, we have a diagnosis increase in temperature can be as a result of infection for example and then based on this assessment we plan what our outcome is going to be temperature is going to be reduced after one hour of nursing intervention and then after that we start to plan how do we do this thing how do we bring this temperature down so in planning we'll start to look at the doctor's order we look at what we can do how we can tap it sponge the patient and then after that planning we move on to implementation phase where we implement all those plans we've talked about and the final stage is the evaluation we evaluate and see the temperature come down or not now this is exactly what you need in your own life so every phase starts really with the evaluation phase. So what you really need to do or what you really need as the year is coming to an end and a new one is beginning is to start a thorough self-evaluation. As usual, we are going to be using the Bible today as a reference point and as a guide to show us the things you really need to do as the year is coming to an end be reading from Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1 to 3 I'm using the New King James it says I will stand my watch and set myself on the rampant and watch to see what he will say to me and what I will answer when I am corrected the Lord said and the Lord answered me and said write the vision and make it plain on tablets that he may run who reads it 
for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it will speak and it will not lie though it tarries wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry this is the word of the lord to the prophet habakkuk but i want you to look closely at chapter one before the lord even begins to speak the prophet says what i will stand upon my watch so the end of the year it's not a time more than uh, a time to just have family dinners uh, buy gifts which are good but it's also a time where you're going to stand upon your watch and how are you going to do this you are going to do what we call a retreat you're going to withdraw from the chaos from the everyday cares and worries of this world so you need to set apart a day before the end of 2020 it can be a whole day it can be half a day it can be two days but you need to take a personal retreat so i don't know if you really need a new year resolution but i know for sure you need to take a personal retreat and in taking this retreat you are going to stand upon your watch and see what the lord is speaking to you for the remaining days of 2020 and what is speaking to you concerning 2021 so when you set out this time you're going to take some items with you there don't just go there and sit down and then reflect and think most times we think when the lord starts speaking to you you are getting these ideas these thoughts you think you're going to remember them but trust me if you do not put them down in writing by january february march you will not remember you would have forgotten more than half of it and i know this because i have spent the last few years actually writing down and it's amazing how much you actually forget when the year starts so what you actually need my favorite is getting an agenda or a planner i don't know if you can see that very clearly you get an agenda or a planner and these ones they have like the to-do list for every month so if you need to read a book you need to read a chapter of the bible uh birthday you need to set a goal for the month it's all spelled out there and then you can also do your yearly one so I use the bottom here to do my yearly goals so today I'm going to be using like I said uh, the nursing process so when you get to this place of your retreat go with something you can write on go with your pen go with your Bible and then start by praying invite the presence of the Holy Spirit because without his guidance you are just going to be doing wishful thinking but when you go with the Holy Spirit what happens you start to meditate and he gives you revelation much more than just your own heart desire but the desires of God for you for 2021 the will of God for you for 2021 the purposes of God for you for 2021 so you get all that when you come to the place of retreat amen so Habakkuk says, I will stand upon my watch. So you are intentional, you are careful. And it's in this place of retreat, you do a very thorough self-evaluation. Remember those goals you set for health, be it exercise, eating, and whatever you set there as your goal for health. You look at this area, examine it critically. Look at the areas you did well, look at the areas you didn't do well. And then also, don't forget about your mental health. This is so key and vital. And you look at your mental health, how are you doing overall? Then you move away from there, you come to your spiritual health. How are you doing in your spiritual work with God? How are you doing in your world life, in your prayer life? You look at all these other areas. And then you move to the area of family. If you are single, how are you doing? What was your goal for the new year? Uh, were you planning on settling down or were you planning on doing other things? Look at a family. If you're married, what was your goal for yourself as a family, as a unit? And then when you've looked at this area critically, which area did you do well? What do you need to do more? Now we are just doing a critical self-evaluation. Another area you want to look at is your job, your business, and your finance. I've grouped these three together. Did you say you were going to start a new business and you ended up not starting this year? What happened? Why didn't you start? 
were you procrastinating is it that you didn't get enough information so you look at your job look at your job or your business and look at your finances are you happy with where you are financially or do you want to set new goals on what you would like for 2021 you look at your finances and then finally you look at your relationships with other people how is your relationship man is a social animal so you want to look at did you make new relationship did you make impacts in your relationship you want to look at this area so i've just quickly run down through those five areas where you are going to critically examine evaluate and then the outcome of that evaluation now habakkuk says i will not just stand upon my watch i will set myself to hear what he will say when i am reproved to hear what god will say this is the area i want you to focus on in this new year this is the area i want you to focus on in the area of your health in the area of your spiritual health he said i will sit to hear and then notice when the lord started talking to him what did he say write down the vision write down the revelation because you think you're going to remember trust me you will not and that is why the bible tells us where there is no vision the people perish what you cannot see what you cannot visualize you can really not get so do you visualize success for yourself do you see that new business you have been wanting to start until you see it you will not be able to realize so when the Lord was going to uh, talk to Abraham in Genesis 13 from 14 to 15, he says, lift up your eyes as far as you can see. I have given you as an inheritance. What can you see in 2021? Yes. How far do you see? Because there are some visions that are for one year. Some visions you have to set for two years. Some visions you have to set for five years. What can you see? how far can you see it says lift up your eyes as far as you can see that is how much the lord is able to give you hallelujah this is why you need to have a clear vision and the lord told the prophet write down the vision so that whoever reads it can run with it so that by the end of january 2021 you can come back and read what you have written and say oh Oh, I was said I was going to read one book every month. I haven't even started. Then you can start to implement, plan, and do all those things. But if you do not write it down, trust me, after one or two weeks, life is just back to normal. Jobs, you have started going back to job. You will not be able to catch up. Come back. So we are going to quickly plan. Now that we have done a critical self-evaluation and we have diagnosed that, okay, I'm suffering from prayerlessness. I'm having lukewarmness. So that is the diagnosis and then the outcome what do i want i want to lead a more prayerful life so that is the outcome we want i want to be able to pray every day amen so you have your outcome then you start to plan do not leave your resolutions as just a vision do not leave it as just a thought you have to make concrete plans so very quickly we are going to plan through the five areas i've just identified so in planning for your health for example let's start from you now so you are planning for your health so you have to go for your medicals do go for your annual medicals and you want to plan to do your self breast exam and for the ladies you want to go for a pap smear so you are over 21 between 21 or 65 you want to do a pap smear usually it's recommended you do every three years and this is a screening for cervical cancer so it's very rampant amongst women so you want to add that as part of your yearly uh, to-do list for the men if you are over 40 you want to go for what we call your psa level that is your prostate specific antigen and this is used in diagnosis of early stage of prostate cancer which again is something very rampant in men so you want to go for these two screening for the male and female and overall you want to go check your blood pressure some of you don't check your blood pressure in the whole year so you want to make sure part of your planning is check your blood pressure at least once a month if you have it at home then you can check it more frequently otherwise anytime you go to the grocery store or you go to the pharmacy close to you they can check your uh, blood pressure it's free of charge 
another thing you want to check there is your mental health so you want to plan how are you going to plan for your mental health you want to plan things that are going to improve your mood social engagement emotionally things that are going to help you achieve a better mental health so if throughout 2020 you were very depressed because of covid and some other things you want to start making plans do i need to see a specialist or do i need to pray more about about this very area so come to the spiritual side so in the spiritual health based on the outcome say prayerlessness lukewarmness fluctuating today i'm hot tomorrow i'm cold uh, prayerfully you want to start looking in what area are you going to plan so i want to plan how are you going to read are you going to read the bible by chapter by books are you going to use some apps there are some wonderful wonderful bible apps uh, like through the word you version those ones you can say for example i want to study about moses and it will spread it over some days or i want to read genesis and it spreads it over three weeks so like and also in the self-assessment part of it is assessing your spiritual growth how much appetite do you have for the word of god how much appetite do you have for his presence for fellowship so if your appetite is not there then it's a sign that spiritually you're sick so you want to now make sure i'm the part of the planning is i'm going to get uh some praise and worship songs i'm going to download them so that i can play it even while i'm going to bed i play that I want to make sure I have a, a good Bible. So the Bible I have is uh, four translations. I have two different ones. So this has NIV, NLT, New King James and the message. And I also have another one here with uh, another four translations. So make sure you have a good Bible because this will improve your world life tremendously. It will improve your understanding tremendously. So another thing you want to uh, ask yourself in your self evaluation is how much of God did you, did you discover in 2020? What new keys did god give to you if you didn't discover anything part of your planning for 2021 is i really want to station myself like habakkuk so i hear what god is speaking so i want to hear him more in 2020 you cannot hear god except through prayer fasting and the word of god so you want to spend more time in fasting so this year i'm going to fast one day or 2021 i'm going to fast one at least one day a week if you'll be fasting one day a week i want to improve that so planning this is what you're going to plan to do write down this plan and then you come to the area of family or oh, as a family we're supposed to go on vacation we're going to start planning it how much funds do we need for that vacation where are we going as a family we want to do this more we want to start a family altar we want to start a family time whatever it is you want to plan write it down and then you come to your job your business your finances what do you want oh i hate this my new job 2021 i want to get a new job do you have the qualification for your new job do you need to go to school go online find out what are the requirements for the school what do you need uh, so you can achieve that if you'll be sitting on a business idea have you networked with other people who are in the business to really find out what you need to launch into it so this is part of your planning so network with other people to find out more information so you can excel in that area or if you just want to advance in your present job or business again plan how are you going to do that finally your relationship with other people you're going to plan to invest time in relationship so this coming year i'm going to try and check on people more i'm going to try and interact with people more this is a way you invest in your relationship you want to help phase so part of the planning phase you have to set goals so these goals are time bound so it's time bound for a reason just like the nursing process so it's not like at the end of the year you now discover oh i didn't do this thing so if you time it for myself i do monthly checks so at the end of the month i go through what did i achieve what did i not achieve so i said i was going to read a book every month how many how many pages did i read the first month what were the constraints what do i need to put in place so that i can achieve this thing so you have to set realistic goals but they must be time bound so at the end of one month i should have finished one book or at the end of three months i should have finished reading one time then you are able to evaluate effectively based on your evaluation if you need to go back and redo it then you'll be able to go back and do it so set goals that are clear set goals that are simple do not set too many goals because you're going to get overwhelmed finally what you need to do is to count the cost yes you need to count the cost for everything i'll be planning about what is it going to cost me again go back to your physical health if i want to enjoy more better health what is it going to cost me 
I need to dedicate time to do exercise. I need to dedicate time. I need to book an appointment to go to the doctor's office. Some of you don't have health insurance, so I need to pay for this pap smear. I need to pay for my PSA levels if you're a man. So what is it going to cost you? Is it going to cost you in finances? Is it going to cost you in planning? Is it going to cost you in time? And then going to your spiritual life, what is it going to cost you to walk closer to God? It's going to cost you some food in your belly. So you're going to be fasting. That is a cost. It's going to cost you time that you normally have to watch shows. You're going to cut it down now because you want to spend more time worshiping God. You want to spend more time praising God. You want to spend more time praising God and you want to spend more time in his word. So what is the cost? You have to count the cost for every one of this area. Your family, what is the cost? What is the cost of that vacation, that vacation you're planning? So you're going to start putting away money aside. Okay, we need X amount of dollars. So we're going to start putting this X amount every month. What is the cost? Planning. So that goes hand in hand. You have to sit down. The Bible says anyone who wants to build a house, Luke 14, 28 to 29. When you're going to build a house or you're going to set a project, what do you do? You sit down and count the cost. And the Bible says if you start to build without counting the cost, when you done the foundation what happens you run out of funds and people begin to laugh and mock at you but when you count the cost before you begin you know whether you need more resources count the cost what we we're talking about your job your business and your finances what is the cost of starting that new business can you fund it do you need a loan do you have people who can assist you count the cost and you need then you'll be able to tell where you need additional resources relationship I want to engage more with people in my community. What is the cost? I need to invest more time into those relationships. So if you're able to count the cost, trust me, you'll be able to implement your plans. Implementation starts from now. Start to pray now. If your, your plan is to be closer to God, the time to start to pray is now. Stand upon your watch and start to pray now. So if you do all these things, you'll find out that more than another new year, another resolution, what you really need is to start to achieve to be a go-getter and these are some of the things i've shared with you today on how you can be a go-getter not just a goal setter i hope you've been blessed with today's message i have been blessed immensely with it please like i said do not forget to like this video comment and share on your platforms let us get to a thousand subscribers before the end of the year father lord we magnify your holy name we give you glory we thank you oh god for this section i pray lord for everyone who is watching oh god that lord as the year is coming to an end you will direct their steps you will guide them oh god lord like the prophet habakkuk help us to stand upon our watch open our ears to hear while you speak concerning 2021 in jesus victorious name we have prayed Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time on Blooming Time with Zest, have a blessed and wonderful day. See ya.